Hello guys, welcome to Coding Byte. The recommended swap size for Linux systems is no longer double the RAM size. The old rule is not applicable to modern computers with larger RAM capacities and smaller hard disks. Allocating a swap size that matches the RAM size, such as 64GB for a system with 32GB of RAM, would be wasteful. To determine the appropriate swap size, it is important to understand the purpose of swap memory. Swap is used as a supplement to RAM, providing additional virtual memory when the system's physical memory is running low. It allows the system to offload less frequently accessed data from RAM to the swap space on the hard disk. The amount of swap required depends on the specific use case and the system's expected workload. As a general guideline, a swap size equal to the amount of RAM, or slightly larger, is sufficient for most desktop systems. For example, a system with 8GB or 16GB of RAM would typically benefit from a swap partition of 8GB or 16GB respectively. However, there are scenarios where swap may not be necessary or can be significantly smaller. If your system has several GBs of RAM and you do not run memory-intensive applications or perform heavy multitasking, you may not require swap at all. In such cases, you can allocate a minimal swap size or disable swap altogether. Ultimately, the decision on swap size depends on your specific system requirements and usage patterns. It's recommended to consider factors such as available disk space, expected workload, and memory usage before determining the appropriate swap size for your Linux system. When your system runs applications, it uses RAM. If there are only a few applications running, the available RAM is usually sufficient. However, if too many applications are running or they require a lot of RAM, your system can encounter issues. If an application needs more memory but the entire RAM is already in use, the application may crash. Swap serves as a backup when the RAM is exhausted. In such cases, Linux allocates a portion of the hard disk's memory to the running application. However, it's important to note that Swap is not a solution for running an excessive number of applications simultaneously. The speed of accessing data is crucial in this context. RAM can access data in nanoseconds, while SSDs take microseconds and regular hard disks take milliseconds. This means that RAM is significantly faster than both SSDs and HDDs. If an application relies heavily on swap, its performance will degrade because accessing data from swap is much slower than accessing it from RAM. Tasks that would take seconds in RAM may take several minutes in swap, rendering the application nearly useless. This phenomenon is known as thrashing in computing terms. There are several reasons why you would need swap. If your system has RAM less than 1GB, you must use swap as most applications would exhaust the RAM soon. If your system uses resource-heavy applications like video editors, it would be a good idea to use some swap space as your RAM may be exhausted here. If you use hibernation, then you must add swap because the content of the RAM will be written to the swap partition. This also means that the swap size should be at least the size of RAM. If you have 32GB or 64GB of RAM, chances are that your system would perhaps never use the entire RAM and hence it would never use the swap partition. But will you take the chance? I'm guessing if your system has 32GB of RAM, it should also be having a hard disk of 100s of GB. Allocating a couple of GB of swap won't hurt. It will provide an extra layer of stability if a faulty program starts misusing RAM. Yes, it is possible to run a system without swap space, especially if you have an abundant amount of RAM. However, as mentioned earlier, having a certain amount of swap space is generally advisable. In fact, distributions like Ubuntu automatically create a swap file of 2GB during installation, indicating that having some swap space is recommended. If you didn't create a swap partition during the Linux installation process, there is no need to worry. You can easily create a swap file in Linux at any time. Determining the ideal swap space for a Linux installation is subjective and depends on various factors. There are different recommendations provided by different sources and Linux distributions. Red Hat suggests a swap size of 20% of RAM for modern systems with 4GB or higher RAM. Ubuntu takes hibernation into consideration and provides the following recommendations. If RAM is less than 1GB, swap size should be at least the size of RAM and at most double the size of RAM. If RAM is more than 1GB, swap size should be at least equal to the square root of the RAM size and at most double the size of RAM. 
If hibernation is used, swap size should be equal to the size of RAM plus the square root of the RAM size. Given the varying recommendations and potential confusion, a table has been created to help determine the recommended swap size based on your RAM size and hibernation requirements. It is advisable to refer to the guidelines provided by your specific Linux distribution and consider factors such as available disk space, expected workload, and the need for hibernation when deciding on the ideal swap space for your Linux installation. The answer is never simple. As I stated earlier, for a long time, swap has been recommended to be double the size of RAM. In fact my Acer Aspire E5 Ubuntu edition has 16GB of swap size for 8GB of RAM. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Linux related content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.